Welcome to the Illinois State Fair. The first fair was held in Springfield in 1853. The fair gave us a meeting place to share inventions and innovations with everyone. The fair moved to various cities before settling down permanently in Springfield. The main emphasis was on agriculture. Hello friend, I'm John Deere from Moline, Illinois. I am showcasing the Hawkeye, a riding cultivator, here at the Illinois State Fair. I will tell you this newest innovation won first premium at the Iowa and Wisconsin State Fairs. I stand here with a patent agreement with Mr. Robert W. Furness, a fellow inventor from Nebraska. This innovative tool accommodates the hardworking farmer as he can work his fields in less or even half the time. Why then, Mr. Deer, do you mean to tell me your innovation can cut farm labor in half? Then perhaps the local farmers will ha now have horses to spare. I am the ambulance wagon stretcher bearer for the Illinois State Fair. This fine wagon was designed by William A. Hammond, Surgeon General of the United States Army. His position was created to guard the health of Civil War soldiers. That is very commendable. I can lend you a few horses, and so can any farmer who buys my cultivator. Just what does a stretcher bearer do? I have worked as a medic on an ambulance wagon in the war, and I am here helping out during the fair. I do not think we could have been close to saving so many soldiers without Jonathan Letterman's changes to the Ambulance Corps. He trained hundreds of stretcher bearers and medics, including me. He also supplied each wagon with the needed and correct supplies. He made sure the hospitals were laid out in the right locations for the most efficient use. Tell me more about this cultivator. Well, the innovative design of the Hawkeye cultivator is its use of a wooden peg that breaks if it hits a rock, so the steel blades will not get damaged. The treadles can be operated by foot, allowing the hands to be free to guide the team of It can be operated by an injured returning soldier with one less limb, or even by a child who needs to help work the fields while our brave men are on the battlefield. I under it is considered a patriotic machine by the farming fraternity because it helps free so many people up to go fight in the Civil War. I understand there have been new inventions in the medical field as well. Yes, hypodermic needles have been made to improve injection of medicines during surgery. Also, the anesthesia inhaler delivers a gas such as ether during surgery. In this way, sensation was blocked and patients could often endure gruesome surgeries without pain. By these two inventions alone, many lives have been saved. Good day to you, sir, and thank you for your assistance. Hello, I am Joseph James, and I invented the hydrocyanic motor round. These rounds have been used in the Civil War. Hydrocyanic acid is made from the combination of hydrochloric acid and cyanide. My motor rounds have glass vials full of hydro hydrochloric acid and cyanide. When my rounds are shot, the, the, the glass vials mix and make hydrocyanic acid. My rounds then disperse a very deadly toxin very, that is similar to tear gas. My rounds have mainly been used to shoot down boats in the Civil War. The Civil War has been considered one of the most advanced wars of its time due to it having so many chemical weapons. It is good to meet you, sir. We seem to have weapons of war in common. My name is Richard Gatling, inventor of the Gatling gun. It is made in my factory in Indianapolis. <clears throat> At 85 pounds, it's too heavy for a man to carry around, so it is put on a train or wagon to make it more mobile. It shoots 50 caliber rounds through a one inch barrel and it has a 40 round magazine. It can shoot 200 rounds per minute, depending on how fast a man can crank it. It is my hope to, sh to reduce the size of armies and so reduce the size of deaths by combat and disease and to show how futile war is. War is certainly difficult. I am Alexander Joy Cartwright. My teammates and I play baseball. Many people complain that we are wasting our time, especially when there is a war at hand, but it helps keep our minds and bodies in shape for the rigors of war. In 1845, I and a group of New York City men founded the New York Knickerbocker Baseball Club. We have changed many rules, such as, we now tag the runners rather than throwing the ball at them. The new rules we are using makes the game faster paced 
and more challenging. There are foul lines, and we have standardized the links between the bases. New equipment has really helped reduce injuries as well. We used to use our bare hands to catch the ball, but now we are using gloves that protect us from injury. We hope to someday travel to play against other teams. Hello, I just traveled here on the train. Thank goodness for the train lubricating invention that Elijah McQuay had made. He was hired as an oiler on the train, although he was qualified to be an engineer in Canada. Since he was African American, he was not allowed to be an engineer in the United States. His idea was to manufacture a lubricating cup that split the oil evenly among the train axles to make the train go faster and farther without stopping frequently for maintenance. This invention saved energy and made delivering supplies and people much faster. I have never heard of him. Did he invent other things as well? You probably never heard of him since many inventors weren't recognized for their own work. Usually an investor or an employer took the credit. He invented other things such as a water sprinkler and a portable ironing board. Did I hear you mention an ironing board? That invention has really helped with my business. That has really helped me at home as well. There are many other new inventions that help with our everyday domestic labors, from cleaning supplies to sewing machines. Mr. Isaac Merritt Sr. has made such a device, also known as Denny Lind. He left home when he was only 12 years old to start working as an unskilled laborer. Mr. Sr. was able to pull himself from that way of life to make, and use his talents to make it possible to store dresses in half the time. That is quite commendable, but I believe there was some controversy with Mr. Elias Howe over who made it. I'm just happy someone had the vision and skill to build this wonderful machine. Have you seen one of these before? It looks to be some sort of ironing device. It is called a hand fluter. It is also called a sat iron. It is used to crimp cloth, usually around the neck and wrists of clothing. It was made in Batavia, Illinois. I have seen this crimping effect on wedding and sadly morning dresses. Would you like to see how it works? Yes, we would. First, you take the cloth and put it on top of the base of the fluter. Then you take the iron and put it on top of the cloth and base, and then you roll it on top. Oh my, look at all of those ruffles. ruffles. What does this say? Heat this side? Yes, it is made out of iron, which holds heat for a long time. It can be left on the stove or in the embers, along with the iron, to stay hot until it is needed. That is quick and easy. That is a quick and easy way to change the look of a garment. I always wondered how they did that. Doesn't Mary Todd Lincoln have a dressmaker? Her name is Elizabeth Keckley. She is an African American woman who has set up a dressmaking business in Washington, D.C. She is also very good friends with Mrs. Lincoln and makes her beautiful gowns. What other household innovations are there? Well, I believe Walter Hunt has invented many things, including the first working sewing machine. He wasn't interested in the patent, which left room for Mr. Singer and, and Mr. Howe to step in. But he did get the patent for his safety pin, which he made in three hours to pay off a $15 debt. I'm very familiar with this safety pin invention. This has been a tremendous help in the fashion industry to make a way to securely fashion clothing. I am very grateful for all of the inventors, innovators, and people with vision who work so hard to make our lives better. I am Truman and I would and I played the role of the of Joseph James, the creator of the hydrosonic motor round. I'm Cooper and I played Alexander Dre Cartwright, a baseball player. I'm Tyler and I played the role of the person who knows a lot about Elijah McCoy and just came here on the train. I'm Regina and I played the part of April Miller, a seamstress. I'm Olivia and I played the part of Hannah May, a customer. I'm Grace and I played Kelly Morgan, a sh shop owner. I'm Maxwell and I played the part of John Deere, the inventor of the Hawkeye writing cultivator. Hello, my name is Aaron and I played the role of a stretcher bearer. Hello, my name is Sean and I played Richard Gatling, inventor of the Gatling gun.